Hey everybody, welcome back, it's Jordan here. Today is a very exciting day because I'm gonna be building the Lego BrickLink Designer Program modular construction site. This huge modular building has 3,374 pieces. The box is an absolute beast and it's gonna have a ton of great pieces in it because check out that crane. That thing looks awesome and it comes apart just like a modular building. Let's crack it on open and see what's inside. Cutting this holographic tape is always a little bit of a struggle, but there it goes. Hey, look at that. I'm even greeted by an interior box. Make that three interior boxes and also a dark bluish gray 32 by 32 base plate. It also comes with a 16 by 32 dark gray base plate and a ton of great looking pieces. There better be a bunch of great looking pieces in here because guess what? This set cost me a whopping 400 Canadian dollars. It does not come with a instruction manual. You have to download your instructions from the BrickLink website or using the QR code on the back side of that pamphlet there. The 3,374 pieces are divided among 22 different bags or building stages. We also get some additional larger elements right here in these bags. I am excited about this set. Let's get started with the build. The first thing I did was combine the two plates using mills. It's now 32 studs by 48 studs, and we're ready to start the build. Base is all tiled off. We've got the entrance to the construction site right there, the base of the crane. This guy's either destroying or laying tile, I guess. But yeah, it's looking awesome, and now we're going to start building upward. I want to showcase this pillar before I seal it off. Inside, there's these corner bricks that are offset using jumpers, and they're red. It's like steel rebar inside the wall. So detailed. That's so cool. There's more of it right over here. About to start bag number 13, and I think with this bag you cover up some of the access points looking into what we've already built here. So I just want to show you some of the detail. Nice tall windows, three windows stacked on top of each other, and there's the masonry bricks in dark tan between those windows. Looks really nice. I love these large arches and this architecture style with the textured bricks there, the lights, the one by two with the slides, the pillars, and also these curved slopes here. Just a really nice architecture style on the exterior of the building. Looks awesome for a construction site. It's amazing, right? I like that, that's uh, so cool. We've got two double doors, so the double door here, double door there. We've also added the fence, uh, which is held upright by these uh, gold one by one modified plates with the upward clip there. And I just love this rounded pillar at the top there as well. And it's interesting, I was actually putting cheese slopes on the bottom there, you see that? That looks really good using snot bricks and the double arches. And the funny thing is, is inside here is actually cheese slopes. You would never know unless you're building it. So there's all sorts of interesting things like that as you build it because you just wouldn't really know it if you didn't build it. It's actually pretty cool because in here you can see some of these Technic elements have Technic pins and they're actually like sort of floating. You can see these one by two Technic bricks that are pinned in spots using the upright beams there and they're actually held in place by one by three slopes which are actually worked into the brick wall. Specifically, this one by two Technic brick down here was actually floating. It was only held in place by the Technic pin, but then you actually lock it in place with the one by three slope. And in those Technic beams, you'll see some red Technic axles. Well, those actually run through the beam and connect to other Technic elements that are inside this column. And you'll see examples of that all throughout this structure. You'll spot red Technic axles, yellow pins, gray axles, and slopes, and one by two bricks. And it's really cool how all of this Technic work actually connects to the exterior structure. So these upright beams or columns will actually connect to the system columns out here. So we've got all our brick work, which is connected to the interior Technic work. It is just a lot of fun to build, and it's something truly unique. And the bottom floor is really nicely tiled off now with the white one by ones, one by twos, and dark, sorry, and light gray, and also the dark blue two by two tiles. Just looks really good, especially when you consider that this is 
a construction site, right? It's just done properly. This is all nicely tiled off and light gray as well. Now my sidewalk in the Lego city is light gray. So I'm gonna have to determine what I'm gonna do with these dark gray tiles. I'm not sure if I'm gonna switch those or not. The base of the crane is starting to get taller. And also I really like this staircase right here. It's like a staircase shaft almost. And you've got these sort of narrow, rugged stairs making their way up to the different floors. And it is a corner building. We have the one by two Technic bricks that can accommodate the pins on this side here. And also on the back side as well. And that's where we're gonna be able to attach it to other modular buildings. I believe this is a stool or ladder or platform or something that the construction workers can stand on. It uses the forklift covering and also a two by four double jumper. I love looking at this tile work in here and I don't think you're gonna be able to see it as clearly when we proceed to bag or stage number 13 because these open studs here are about to accommodate some stairs and large plates and almost a semi-style roof or next floor but the top floor when we construct that can be removed but the next section here seems like it's going to cover up some of this awesome tile work down there but of course we know it's there and you're going to be able to see it through all of these awesome glass windows on the city streets and also you're going to be able to see it from the back side and also construction slash crane side as well the first and second floor are all one piece so the second floor cannot be removed i like these dark brown windows surrounded by dark tan the masonry bricks and then we have some evenly distributed pillars built using two by two light gray circular bricks what's interesting about the windows is check it out they have window glass right not these ones over here it's still being installed there's two missing there and then this one has no window glass i like the use of the curved slopes on the bottom of the pillars there also have a fence element mounted there with a light shining into the construction site and then on either side we have this cheese slope design and that can be seen over here as well an open back i love that concept because you can actually look into the construction site it's nice seeing the large yellow columns mixed in with the light gray columns and of course that staircase leading right up to the second floor there where we have more of those one by four by six window frames with the slats Making your way into the second floor construction, there is a workbench right here. It has a cabinet and a drawer unit and a couple uh, tools on top. There's a miter saw and also a drill press. Miter saw can actually be hinged there. And look at that, we're about to cut some wood at a perfect angle there. It's got a steering wheel mounted to the bottom as well and that's a really nice build. Basic parts and techniques, but I really like the functionality of this little workbench here. There's a hole in the center of the second floor so you can look right down to the ground floor. And there's a railing going around that hole that was created using bars, flex tubing, and connectors. A piece of the flooring is about to be cut to size by the miter saw there, and they've already installed some. This gentleman is working up here. He's got a red paint roller which matches the red accents. He's holding a bucket and also has like a bandana going over his mouth there uh, just for the uh, dust that might be caused by the saw, I'm assuming. A pretty basic minifigure, but he seems to be putting in a hard day's work. Two dark gray staircase elements were used to bring us to the third floor. We also continued constructing the base of the crane, which is actually locked into the construction of the building as well, giving it a nice solid foundation. And we used some fence elements here to continue framing the shaft with the staircase. I've also constructed the third floor, which can be attached to the structure by placing it on those two by two jumpers. This looks like a basic build, but there's actually more to it than what meets the eye. They actually construct the plate floor and then around the edge of it, you use two by two jumpers all the way around. So you can see that the walls are actually inset a half stud all the way around. Once you place those jumpers, you place another layer of plate and then another row of jumpers to inset the windows as well. So there's a ton of jumpers in light gray and also white to get this perfectly sort of inset like that. It's actually really neat. Uh, you got some open windows there, but then once again, some of the glass has already been installed. So it's under construction. We've got a ladder that would bring you up to the fourth floor. Looks like they're planning on adding a fourth floor based on that ladder there. Inside this floor, we've got some tiles that have been laid there. They're still working on that. Got our little bench right there and another minifigure. 
This guy's super excited to be working today and he comes with a pickaxe. The staircase lines up perfectly with the hole in the third floor. We've got some masonry bricks right here that are ready to be laid. They're offset using jumpers. You can see masonry bricks with one by one tiles on the top uh, all around the base here and also all around the top here. So it's like bricks that aren't quite done being laid yet. Also a two by two circular pillar right there that needs to be constructed. Same with this one here. So really cool construction detail. Uh, also, we've got a trash can and a railing right up here. And check out this cement mixer. It's a very simple build, but very clever indeed. You can see the Technic elements there that will allow this to pivot and also rotate as it's on a turntable. There's a steering wheel and also a couple tires there. And it can just sort of sit on the ground like that. So some pretty clever building techniques in this cement mixer. That's the building portion of the modular construction site. The remainder of the bags, that's 19 to 22, build the crane. The final stage of construction added three more minifigures. We've got two right down here. This gentleman is operating the hand roller. He also came with a wheelbarrow full of tools. It's a shield, a shovel, and also a broom. Then I believe we have the engineer or foreman maybe. And uh, she comes with a camera and a briefcase. The third minifigure is the crane operator. And of course, she's way up here in the cab of the crane, which can actually be opened just like that there to reveal the controls and the little seat within. In addition to the minifigures, we added a few more accessories as well. We've got a sink down here, also some canisters there topped with steering wheels, and you can see the staircase leading up to the ladder, which will bring you to the top of the crane. Most LEGO construction sites seem to come with a porta potty. Have you noticed that? I definitely have. Uh, we've got a detailed toilet inside there using a life preserver as the toilet seat. It's based on two sand green circular plates. It's got some toilet paper and a flusher, a white door with a dark brown handle, and it's actually sided with these 4x4 four four modified dark green plates, and then it has a hook here because it can actually be hoisted by the crane. I gotta say that I really enjoyed the build of this porta potty. It uses some really nice studs not on top techniques. During the final stages of construction, we also added this structure right here. And on top, there's this beam that's just sitting there loosely. So that's something that you can grab with the crane. The tower of the crane is built using a fairly basic element. And I would imagine if you had the elements to do so, you could actually increase the height of your crane. Minifigs can access the crane by taking this very dangerous ladder all the way to the top and then transferring onto this ladder and popping through this little access hole right here. There's also another little ladder right here, which will lead you to the top of the crane. And then they would be able to access the operator's compartment. There's quite the Technic mechanism inside the crane, which allows it to spin 360 degrees with very little to no friction. And of course the load of the crane can be raised or lowered by spinning this crank at the back here. It's a very smooth mechanism and it can also be moved back and forth as we have another Technic mechanism right here, which will glide right on the track. And if aligned in time properly, you can hoist this right off those pillars there. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, there we go, <laughs> perfect. The string that is on that spool there gets fed through the top of the tower, underneath this railing, and through a Technic component, and then another Technic component right there makes its way down through the wheels on this mechanism, back up and through another Technic component, toward the front of the crane here, goes through here, and then gets tied off into itself right there. And that's why this can be moved so smoothly and also the load can be brought up and down so smoothly as well. There's one other really cool mechanism on this crane here and it's these rods going from the tip here to the top of the tower to the back. They can actually be increased and decreased in tension by spinning this gear right here. And that will actually decrease the tension by extending this out or increase. And that makes it look really authentic and supports the front and back of the crane. 
On the top of the crane, there's some transparent elements that represent lights. There's also another tank right there. And on the back, there's like the big counterweights that are built using two by two dark blue circular bricks. At this particular point in time, I have no idea where the modular construction site is gonna be positioned in the Lego city, but hey, here it is beside two other modular buildings. So like I mentioned earlier, it is a corner build and I've placed it right beside the downtown diner. Mysterio's just gotta watch his head now because the downtown diner is on uh, Pop Culture Street and also beside one of the tallest modular buildings, which is Town Hall. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention it stands approximately two feet or 60 centimeters tall. So as you can see, it's probably better to put it by some shorter buildings just so that crane really pops out over top of the surrounding modular buildings. And maybe I have to increase the height of the crane by one or two panels. That might be pretty neat and I probably have the parts to do it. I don't know though, might wanna keep it original. Everybody, I think I covered everything in regards to this uh, construction site. Let me know what you think of this awesome BrickLink designer program set by commenting below and like, subscribe, and stay tuned for some more great stuff. And thank you so much for coming on by.